Welcome to this Corporate Maths video on profit. In this video, we're going to look at some money questions where we've been asked to work out how much profit has been made. So first of all, what is profit? Well, when some money has been made, the profit is what's left after the costs have been subtracted from it. So for instance, if a chair costs £15 and it was sold for £20, then the profit would be £5 because £5 had been made. That's the profit. So our first question says, Ted buys 15 chairs for £300 and he sells the chairs for £23 each. Work out how much profit Ted made. So in this question, we know that Ted buys 15 shares and he buys them for £300. So that we, that's how much money he spent on the chairs. And he sells each of the chairs for £23 each. So if we multiply 23 by 15, we'll see how much money Ted made. So let's do that. Let's take our 23 and multiply it by 15. So 5 times 3 is 15. Put our 5 down, carry our 1. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. Now we're going to multiply 23 by 10, so put our 0 down, 1 times 3, 3, 1 times 2, 2. And then if we add them together, 5 plus 0 is 5, 1 plus 3 is 4, and 1 plus 2 is 3. So Ted sold the chairs for £345, so he sold the chairs in total for £345, but he spent £300. So if we take our 345 and we take away our £300, the difference is how much money he made, and he made £45. So Ted made £45 profit. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So the next question says, Nadim runs a charity raffle and donates the profit to charity. So he sells 400 tickets, each cost him £3. 10% of the tickets win a prize, each cost him £11. Work out how much money Nadim donates to charity. So first of all, let's work out how much money Nadim earned altogether from selling the tickets. So he sold 400 tickets, each cost him £3. So if we multiply 400 by 3, we'll see how much money he made. Well, 4 times 3 is 12, so 400 times 3 will be 1,200. So he makes £1,200 from selling the tickets. Now we need to work out the cost of the prizes. Now there's 400 tickets altogether and 10% of them win a prize. So remember to work out our percentages. To work out 50%, we divide by 2. To work out 25%, we divide by 4 or half it and half it again. To work out 10%, we divide by 10. So it's going to be useful. So we're going to take our 400 and we're going to divide by 10. And that will tell us 10%. So 400 divided by 10 tells us that 40 tickets win a prize. So 40 people win a prize, and each one of those prizes is worth £11. So if we do 40 times £11, we will see how much the prizes cost. So let's do that. So let's take our 40 and multiply that by £11. So 1 times 0 is 0, and 1 times 4 is 4. And multiply by 10, put our 0 down. 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 4 is 4. So that means our answer would be £440. So that means Nadim's prizes costs him £440. So if we take our 1,200 and we subtract 440 pound, we will work out how much profit Nadim has made. So let's do that. Let's take our 1,200 and subtract 440. So zero take away zero is zero. We're going to need to borrow here. So cross out the two, call it a one and a 10. 10 take away four is six. One take away four, again, we're going to need to borrow. So 11 take away 4 is 7. So that means that he makes £760. So his profit is £760 and he donates all of that to charity. Okay, and our next question. Okay, let's have a look at our last question. So our last question says, Chloe bought 2 litres of lemonade for £1.50. So Chloe buys a 2 litre, a big bottle of lemonade for £1.50. And that's how much money she spends. And she sells 250 millilitres glasses of lemonade for 40pH. So she's selling glasses of lemonade for 40pH. And Chloe sells all of the lemonade, work out her profit. So in this question, what we need to do is work out how many glasses of lemonade Chloe sells. So we've got different units here. We've got two litres of lemonade and 250 milliliter glasses. So let's change our two litres into milliliters. In each litre, there's a thousand milliliters. So that means that in two litres, there's 2,000 milliliters. So Chloe buys 2,000 milliliters of lemonade and she sells it in 250 milliliter glasses. So what we need to do is work out how many 250s are in 2000. Now we could use division to do this. You could use a bus shelter method to do that if you want to, or you could just count up in 250s. So one glass would be 250 milliliters. Two glasses, well, 250 plus 250 is 500. Another glass, well, that would be 750. And another glass would be 1,000. So four glasses is a liter. So that means that if four glasses is a litre, then two litres should be eight glasses. Let's just carry on and listen and see. So 1,250, 1,500, 
1,750 and 2,000. So as you can see, Chloe sells one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight glasses of lemonade. So Chloe sells eight glasses of lemonade for 40 pH. So if we multiply that 40 P by eight, we can work out how much money Chloe made altogether from selling the lemonade. So 40 multiplied by eight. Well, four times eight is 32. So 40 times eight would be 320. So Chloe made three pound 20 from selling the lemonade. And remember, she bought the lemonade for £1.50, so if we subtract £1.50, we can work out how much money Chloe made her profit. So zero, take away zero, is zero. Two take away five, well, let's borrow. So let's take one away, so that gives us 12. 12 take away five is seven, and two take away one is one. So Chloe made £1.70. So Chloe's profit is £1.70. So if you're answering a question on profit, what you need to do is work out how much money has been spent, work out how much money has been earned, and then subtract them, and that will tell you the profit.